I boom. Today we're gonna be making a UK drill beat using. <clears throat> Today we're gonna be making a UK drill beat using only FL stock plugins. That's right. No contact. No analog labs. No portal. No Omnisphere. No none of that. Strictly core FL Studio. Now I did see Lollipop Beats do this last week. Well, she did it for trap beats. So I thought, let me try to do it for drill. So if you're trying to see how to make trap beats using only FL stock plugins, go check out her video as well. Before we get into the stock plugin sauce, hit the like button for me. It tells YouTube that other producers should be watching this content. And make sure to hit the subscribe button. 2024, motivation is back in an all-time high. I'm putting 100% into all my content. So let me know what you want to see and who you want to see on the channel. Let's get into it. Right, so stock plugins. Depending on your version of FL Studio, you're going to be entitled to different plugins. I'm currently using the producer edition. So stock plugins that I think are relatively decent or that I've used is Citrus, Aura, Morphine, Flex is all right. FL Keys, baby. I mean, let's be real. Stock plugins are not great. And in my opinion, if you're serious about producing, it's definitely worth your time investing into your sound. Whether that's VSTs, sound banks, drum kits, whatever it is, don't limit yourself. So I think we're going to start with Citrus because I'm pretty sure it has a big preset bank. Yeah, would you look at that? Look at all these presets. I mean, I'm sure if you go through every single one of these presets, there's definitely a few in here that are pretty sick. There's also probably a few that are terrible. I like the sound of this one. Before I do anything, I'm going to make a bus channel where we're going to be using Fruity Reverb 2, Fruity Chorus, and also Fruity Phaser. Slightly adjusting the mix of Fruity Phaser and Fruity Chorus. So this is just going to give a more spacey and ambient kind of tone to all my melodies that I'm creating. So I'm going to run all my melodies through this mixer track. And the good thing about dark melodies is they can be pretty simple as long as you capture the atmosphere. So I think we're just going to lay down like a little E minor chord. <laughs> Um, we can drop that down, maybe. Shut up. And we're literally just changing the last note here. I mean, it's pretty simple. Now, some, like, stock effects that you can put on your melodies. Number one would be gross beat. I mean, if you're literally limited to stock, gross beat is going to be one of your best friends. Another one is fruity convolver. Edison could be kind of handy. Fruity slicer could be handy. FL genuinely has a good amount of stock effect plugins. We're going to stay inside a citrus. I like that. That sounds pretty different. Let's just layer it on the same notes. And up again, see what this sounds like. Crazy spacey. Crazy spacey. <laughs> it's given the atmosphere that I'm after. Try something else from Citrus. Maybe a little bit more like high end to it. Let's just try like maybe just the top notes. Yeah, something like that. Over again. Now listen, if you watch me a lot, you already know this cheat code. You want to consolidate this melody, you want to reverse and repitch. Ooh. Now that's actually sounding relatively decent for now. I feel like we still need a little bit more high end to the melody. I like this. This sounds like a bit of like an organ kind of. And now because we have the melody reversed as well, so we can just press Alt and Y. That'll flip the chords. I have literally just been saying inside of Citrus, apologies. Let's try, uh, let's try Sakura. Now, the first ever YouTube video I ever uploaded onto this channel, it's actually not here anymore because it got taken down, but... It was a how to make UK drill, and I actually used the strings from Sakura in that video. So we are taking the cello, and if you know me, I've used this technique a couple of times. We're just going to pitch the cello down to, let's say, like, the two octave. And if you play cellos at really low octaves, they sound incredibly hard. And then we'll also pair this with an atmosphere from Morphine. I've never used Morphine in my life, but I just see that it has atmospheres. So we're just using this little atmosphere as well. Just as like a little texture in the background. Then the cello and that little texture sound like this. Might sound a bit wild, but in the full beat. It sounds nice to start kind of low end. <clears throat> I 
I feel like this is probably as far as we're going to go with actually making the melody. But let's try and make a couple of variations. Like I said, you can try things like gross beat, like reverse, half time, things like that. Or you can also just simply pitch up and down octaves. So this is down an octave. Sounded nice. And then we have up an octave. Might be a little bit too high pitched. Use it for like a burst bridge. I think we can start to throw some drums on this. And today we're actually going to be using a uh, Mizzle's Corrosion Drum Kit, which is co-signed by me. So a link for this drum kit will be in the description if you want to go purchase it. It's genuinely one of the craziest drill kits I've ever used. And I'm also working on a 2024 kit right now, which basically contains all the new sounds I've been using across multiple different genres. Coming very, very soon. Keep an eye out. All right, let's get started with the hats. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add a slight bit of delay on inside of the actual counter snare itself at the time of one. <laughs> And then you just kind of want to play a lot of notes and then just adjust the velocity when you have this delay on. Actually going to throw down the snare just so I can kind of feel the bounce a little bit. What I like to do is I like to come into a quarter beat in the piano roll and then I just start dropping like these ghost notes down where there's like a lot of low velocity notes and you can kind of move them up notes, move them down notes and make some rolls out of them as well. And honestly, after that, I'm going to control and paste this over for eight bars. Same with these other two sounds. And then all I'm going to do is just kind of go through them and edit them ever so slightly. So it just stops from getting very repetitive. <laughs> End of that sounds so nasty. Alright, we can throw down some perks. It's one of my favorite perks from the kit. Also adding this little effect in onto the playlist. That sounds hard at the start of ours. Now we're gonna EQ the low end out the melody. So we can put in that 808. We are using the Valhalla 808 from my Valhalla drum kit. Topping it off with slips, kick. Just gonna pitch it down to A, maybe A sharp. I don't know. That's all right. The arrangement. I want to have like a little cut in the melody here. Get like a. We can get like a glitch from. Yeah, that sounds kind of hard. And this is the full beat. Before I get into it, man, I would appreciate if you make sure you've hit the like button for me and drop a comment with video suggestions you want to see in the future. That bell no notification turned on. Let me know what you think of this beat. I can't lie, the first drop is kind of hard. what i was saying the easiest way to add variation to your melodies is literally just playing with octaves and then that's basically it that's how it just drops back into it again i'm 
simple as stock plugins only. I mean, if you were expecting a 10 out of 10 melody from this video, I don't know what to tell you. Stock plugins are meh, not for me. But listen, we tried. I appreciate you for watching. Run me up on Instagram and TikTok because they're the only two things I care about. I'm out. Looks like a bow.